Hey everyone, and welcome to another Two Minute Tuesday. In this one, we have a fun use case, and what we'll be doing is pulling tweets from Twitter, then we'll do a sentiment analysis on those tweets. What this will give us back is how positive or negative those strings are. So let's jump right in. The quickest way to develop tools and applications like this one is to use Wayscript because they give us a pre-configured environment where we don't have to necessarily do any of the setup, but instead we can get straight into coding. And here is a layer that I've already created. Like I said, since this layer has all the pre-configured tools that we need, we can just start building. So let's do that now. We'll create a Python file, and our first step will be to interact with Twitter. To interact with an API, there's a couple of different ways we can do it. In this example, we'll use a bearer token in our API request, and that'll provide the authentication for us. To safely secure tokens inside of Wayscript X, we can use one of those pre-configured tools in the .secrets file. In this case, let's set a new secret. We'll say bearer token, and then we'll paste in the value of our bearer token. Once I do that, I can click add secret. And now this is stored in the environment in essence, where we can go and pull it using an OS import. Since we need to interact with an API, we'll need to use a library to do that. We'll use the request library. And since we need that secret that we just created, we'll import OS to get it as well. Now let's say something like bearer token will be equal to os.environ.get and the name of that token. We named ours bearer token. So I'll put that in like this. Now that we have that token, all we need to do is to create a request using that authentication token. What that authentication will look like, we'll place it in the headers of our request and we'll have authorization where we'll create a F string where we have bearer, then we'll say bearer token and we can close it off. If you don't have access to a bearer token, it's very easy to get with the Twitter API. So just follow the documentation that's linked down below to get your own bearer token. Now that we have this taken care of, what we'll do is pass in some params and those will look like this. One key that we'll need is called query. But what this is saying is that we want to query tweets from this Twitter dev account. Now, finally, we'll need a URL endpoint. And this is where we will send our request to this endpoint looks like this. Perfect. So at this point, we have our authentication, we have what we want, and we have where we're sending that information to. Now what we need to do is say our response is equal to the get request that we'll send with the request library to this URL endpoint where our params will equal our Python value of params and our headers will equal our Python value of headers. Sweet, so if we want to see that response, what we can do is say print response. So what we'll do is say Python and then the name of our Python file, which is twitter.py, and we get back the response that we expected from the Twitter API. We get a lot more data here that we don't necessarily need. So what we'll do is process this data a little bit. We'll dive into this. So we'll say get data. That will give us a list where we want the first item in the list. So Python place of zero, then we'll get text. Now that we have all of that, let's run this one more time. And we get back just that string that we need. What we want to do now is to use a separate service that we've already built with Wayscript X to pass the string to it and get back the sentiment analysis. If you want to see all the specifics on how that service works, we have a full video detailing every step. But in this tutorial, I just want to use the endpoint that we create in that video to get back a sentiment analysis. So what we'll do is we'll set this value to tweet and this will be what we pass to our API that we've created on Wayscript. One of the cool value propositions is that we can build all of these tools in one place and access them all from our workspace. So it looks like this is our service endpoint that we created in this video. You can actually use the same thing. This should be live. So you can use the same URL and it looks like our sentiment analysis is right here, sentiment. So we'll make sure that we get the correct URL 
It's expecting a key of string and it knows what to do with it. So at this point, we will go back to our sentiment analysis tool, go into twitter.py, and I will say sentiment URL API. I will paste in that URL address. We'll need to pass a payload. So payload will be equal to that string key that we need. And this will just be our tweet value. Now we'll say um, response to is equal to requests.post where our URL will be our sentiment URL API and JSON will be equal to our payload. Then we'll say print response to. We'll save all of that. Let's run this twitter.py and we get back at 200. Not necessarily what we want. So let's go ahead and add dot JSON onto that to make it into a string, into a JSON struct. And we see we get back the labels that we are expecting. So if you're unfamiliar with the sentiment analysis, what this is saying is that the scores here represent different values on if it's positive or negative. If you've never used the API before, then this might not make a whole lot of sense. But I know since we went through that video that label two is how positive it is. So we can see that this tweet is largely positive in this scenario. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you see how powerful WayScript is and how we can start creating many layers that work together to do these sorts of applications. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please let me know and I'll be happy to help you out. Until next time.